some tapes of our first three games and I didn't like what I saw. Oh, me either. Our camera guy bites. You know, it's like watching my grandpa's vacation video. Whoa, there's the Eiffel Tower. Whoa, there's your grandma. Whoa, there goes my lunch, you know. Mary Beth, I was talking about how we played. Why? What? Oh, right, you're the coach. Carry on. Anyway, we need to work on some things. Antonio, Silk, Michael, What's it going to take to make you move faster when we play man-to-man? -man? Want to see us fly? Make it man-to-woman. <laughs> <laughs> Up top. Bad idea. Julie, you've been getting pushed around a lot on the court. We've got a big game against Montrose. I know you can be tougher. You want tougher, Coach? You got it. <laughs> you notice our coach didn't have any notes for yours, truly. <laughs> but then again, how can you improve on perfection? Eugene, huh? coach wants to see you in his office, bring your playbook, and sharpen your pencil. <laughs> oh, and coach said no more going, ooh. What's wrong with saying ooh? I am so hungry. If I don't get some food in me, I'm going to get really cranky. Really? I thought you hit Cranky an hour ago when you made the shoe salesman at Bloomies cry. <laughs> if he can't take someone standing on his hand, he shouldn't be in the shoe business. <laughs> Come on, let's go eat. One second, I gotta get some cash. <sighs> okay, now what's my secret code? Is it my cat's initials or the number of stairs in my house? <laughs> How do you know my code? Oh, please, it's your boyfriend's birthday. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I'll take out $20. Oh, 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 my God! Oh, my God! This is unbelievable! Oh, this is fun. Let's play again. Oh. There's got to be like hundreds of dollars here. Maybe the machine's broke. Who cares? We're not the rich. <laughs> Let's go have lunch in Paris. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait a minute. We can't keep this. This isn't our money. Well, it is now. Let's talk and more scoop it. <laughs> you use your card. The bank's gonna know it's you. If you keep it, it's a crime. Couldn't we just once be not such goody goodies? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Try jail. You in an orange jumpsuit with that hair, crime number two. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, let's go. I'm starving. Come on. Wait, help me. Good job! You guys are playing good ball! Yeah, I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> but the important thing is you like what you're seeing. That's what I'm talking about, Julie. Way to play tough. <laughs> Let's bring it in. Hey, you okay? Oh, look. Birdies. <laughs> Julie, way to be aggressive out there. That's what I want to see Friday against Montrose. Those guys are tough, especially that Carter guy. Yeah, is he the one who's going pro this year? Straight out of high school, just like Kobe. He's good. But Julie, after what I saw today, ha! I know you can handle him. Well, I'll shut him down, coach. <laughs> I feel sorry for the guy. When Julie gets done with him, the NBA is going to stand for nobody's desk. <laughs> Why don't you just 
lie down on your back and I'll pour the food into your head. <laughs> I'm just loading up on carbs. We've got a major game coming up and Coach is expecting some big D. <sighs> Keep eating like that, you can expect a big B. Hine. <laughs> just pass me a roll. Yeah. Get in my belly. Put away your money, girls. Mama's got cash. Uh, I thought Mama was taking the cash back to the bank. Mama tried, but guess what? Bank didn't want Mama's money. <laughs> they had no record of their mistake. Bonus. They won't take the money back? No, they said it wasn't theirs. Cool, that means it's ours. <laughs> ours? When did it become ours? Well, I punched in the coach you couldn't remember. Antonio's birthday? Ugh, I gotta change that coat. <laughs> All right, I'll give you half. Now, what are we gonna do with the money? Come, learn, shop. Oh, Julie, you coming? Are you going by the food court? Yeah. All right, let's roll. Eat one. Here. Oh. And the Carter guy's incredible. I mean, he hasn't missed a shot yet. He's automatic. My brother's a human highlight film. Why don't you guys just ask him for his autograph? Well, I was gonna wait till after the game, Coach. But now's good. Come on, Eugene. Coach is right. I and mean, if we keep drooling over this Carter guy, it's gonna freak Julie out. What's gonna freak Julie out? Uh, the, uh, Montrose's, uh... Uniform. Yeah, because they're really... Uh, freaky. Yeah, yeah, they're really freaky. Yeah, super freaky, uh, freaky dicky. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look, guys, Carter may be going to the NBA, but he's got to get past me first. Oh. <laughs> guys, we're having a little victory party after the game if you want to stop by. Cool. Well, can we bring anything? Silk. <laughs> so we're the ones having the victory party. But thanks anyway, Dave. All right, let's go do this. This is going to be fun. Oh, it will be mm -hmm. for me. <laughs> get ready to take notes because I'm taking you to school. All right, bring it on. Here we go, Michael. Control the tip. That's the way to work. Thanks, nice play, Julie. Woo! Oh, this is so exciting. What's so exciting? I can never even tell what's going on. It looks like they're just chasing each other. <laughs> And you're a cheerleader? We have charging on two old white. What? Oh, man. Way to hang tough, Julie. Also known as the Enforcer. <laughs> hey, Julie, you're the man. <laughs> Yo, Julie, that was a crazy block. Yo, when he took off after Carter, I was like, there's no way. Then he closed in on them, and I'm like, maybe. And then you blocked the shot, and I was like, oh, help me, the girl can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific game, guys. <laughs> Good work, Julie. Arr, you really mixed it up out there. Well, thanks, Coach. Any word on how Carter's doing? He didn't look too good when they carried him off. Uh, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, once they removed the word Spalding from his face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go celebrate. I'm buying, all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to change first. <laughs> What's up, ladies? Yeah, just doing a little shopping. Yeah, well, it looks like you bought the whole mall. Yeah, and we did it for free. I asked an ATM for $20, and it gave me 1000 instead. Wait a second, so you spent that money? Well, I, I tried to give it back, but the bank wouldn't take it, and Mary Beth said it would be okay. Yeah, quit worrying. Don't you love her new sweater? <laughs> well, yeah, it's nice, Christine, but that money didn't belong to you, and I don't think you should be spending it. You know, this kind of reminds me what happened to my Uncle Ned. 
He once stole a lemon meringue pie from a coffee shop. He's had nothing but bad luck ever since. So you want us to believe that because we kept that money, bad things are going to happen to us? Exactly, Mundo. Maybe Eugene's got something. Our situation is completely different. We didn't steal anything. We just picked it up off the floor. Yeah, if we left it there, we would have been littering. <laughs> and that would be rude. Look, whatever. Just think about what I'm saying. Sorry, Eugene, but we're not buying it. <laughs> and that's saying a lot, because today, we're buying everything. Ah! <laughs> oh, we're buying everything. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll go get a rag. Yeah. Mmm, lemon meringue. <laughs> you gotta go wash this off. Hi. Hi. <laughs> lemon meringue. Oh, I'm sure that was just a co ink and ink. <laughs> hey, guys, we want to. We're doing a story on the game. What? And in local sports, the Deering Montrose game proved to be a rough and tumble one last night. The Deering Tornadoes won the game when the Montrose Falcons lost their top player, Dave Carter, as a result of a collision with Deering's Julie Connor. Now, doctors are unsure whether or not Carter will ever be able to pursue what surely would have been a great NBA career. We wish him the best. And now, here's Hale Stones with the weather. Hale? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's, that's terrible. He may never play again. You don't know that yet, Julie. He might be okay. I, I totally screwed up his life. Julie, it was a clean play. Yeah, it's not like you tried to hurt him. Come on, the guy may never play again. It's my fault. It's, it's all my fault. Jeez. Come on, Julie, step in there. <laughs> Julie, go for the steal. You let him go right by you. All right, that's enough. Demopolis going for Connor. You got it, coach. Julie. Listen, I know you're down about this Carter thing, but you got to put it behind you. It wasn't your fault. But coach, it was my fault. I'm the one who knocked him down. So what are you supposed to do? Not make the play? Heck, it was a great play. Besides, you know as well as anyone, when you play sports, injuries can happen. Yeah, I know. I mean, look at me. Some days I can hardly walk. It comes with the game. I'm sorry, but I can't help it. The guy's in the hospital because of me. Look, he's not going to the NBA because of me. Look, you don't know that. Look, Julie, this game's a must win. And the way you're playing, the team's got a better shot without you. I'm sorry, but I have to bench you. All right, let's run it again. Nothing but bad luck. Can't get the pie stains out of my sweater. Got a nose plug stuck in my ear. Don't ask. And my cat threw up all over my prom dress. Prom's up for months. Why do you have your dress now? Oh, I just like looking at it. <laughs> Look, the point is, I totally believe in this curse thing. You're not serious. Okay, here's serious, and here's me. <laughs> Say what you will, I am returning the clothes and making the bank. No, no, no. I am forcing the bank to take the money back. This is just a coincidence, Christy. There's no such thing as a curse. No, that's you not trust true. Eugene. Mary Ben, I gotta tell you something. What is it, Coach? Well, you know how I'm having problems seeing out the back of my motorhome? Yeah. Well, I kind of bumped into your car. You bumped into my BMW? Yes, but only a little tap. Oh, good. But then it kind of rolled down the hill. <gasps> it did? Is it okay? Well, they'll know better when they fish it out of the lake. <laughs> How was your lunch? Boiled chicken and soggy rice. <laughs> now there's a good time. <laughs> hey, how about wheeling me down to Mickey D's so I can get some real food? <laughs> you know I can't do that. But there's a vending machine down the hall. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Dad? 
Dave? Dave, is that you? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at you. All this because of me? Oh, here, let me get that. I am so sorry. It's me, Julie Connor. Oh, the girl that did this to you. Look, I am so sorry. I, I hope you're not in pain. <laughs> Wait, your, your leg? Your leg hurts? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let me adjust it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. I just can't stop hurting you. Oh, look, I hope you don't mind me stopping by. Well, you probably do now. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, okay, I just, I just wanted to let you know how horrible I feel that I did this to you. Here, I brought you some magazines and some Skittles. Not that it makes up for what I did. Or that you could even hold a magazine. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do for you? <laughs> oh, you need a hug? <laughs> do I get a hug too? Dave! Wait, you're not... Who am I hugging? That's Walt. <laughs> He's a construction guy. Fell off a roof whistling at a girl. I'll take these, Walt. <laughs> so what are you doing here? I wanted to see how you're doing. Well, not great. Okay, really bad. Dave, I feel horrible about this. You must hate me. Nah. I stopped hating you a couple days ago. <laughs> you were just playing the game. Yeah, but you were going to play in the NBA next year. That could all be over. Maybe. Maybe not. I've got to stay positive about this. Look, Julie, you made a great block. You know, you were doing what you were supposed to do, and I, I got in the way. Yeah, well, I wish this had never happened. Me too. So, you gonna open those Skittles or what? Yeah. Hey, Coach, any sign of Julie? No, I don't know where she is, but right now we got a game to focus on. Just to let everyone know, Christy and I returned the money, so we are now officially good luck. So if anyone needs luck, feel free to touch me on the hand. Hey, there's Julie. Hey, you are good luck. Hey, guys. Hey, Coach. Sorry I'm late. I was worried about you. Where were you? Well, I was visiting Dave Carter in the hospital. I'm sure that brightened his day. <laughs> what do you have to say? Actually, he's okay about what happened. He understands it was an accident and that it's all part of the game. That's what we were telling you. Yeah, I know. I, I guess I just had to hear it from him. So is the old Julie back? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to uh -huh. kick butt. All right. <laughs> Julie, it's good to have you back. Now, let's get out there and win. <laughs> this is great. Ever since we returned the money, we've had nothing but good luck. Yeah. Julie's back to her old self. I learned not to stick things in my ears. <laughs> Coach feels so guilty about my car, I can torch him for months. Life is good. Uh, I just love happy endings.
So, great news. What is it, Coach? I just got off the phone with the head coach at Temple University. They want you to come play for them. Ha! Full scholarship. No way. Way. <laughs> Congratulations. Free ride? Right? That's awesome, Silk. All right, Silk. Uh, Silk, can you stop hugging me? No. I'm too happy. Come on. He smells good too, Coach. Get off of me. Temple's in town playing the Hoosiers tomorrow, and the coach said he'd send a couple guys over to meet you. I'm proud of yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. I'm going to Temple! He's, He's going, going to, to Temple! temple. I gotta call my dad! Call your dad! <laughs> I'm calling my dad! Chrissy, <laughs> uh, um, sweetie, what's with the humming and what's it gonna take to make you stop? I'm sorry, ever since my stupid car was stolen, my dad's been driving me to school and he plays all these stupid songs and I'm humming the stupid things all day long and it just makes me feel so stupid. Yes! <laughs> no, get out of my head now! What's with her? No, driving with my parents is driving me crazy. Oh, I hear that. My mom is always yelling stuff out the window like, hang up the phone and drive, you moron. <laughs> it's not getting any greener. Well, I can see the crazy nut didn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> Anyways, the problem is cars are just too expensive. I know. I'm only like halfway to having enough money to get one. Yeah, you and me both. Mm. Hello? Two halves make a whole. Buy a car together. Oh. Do you yell stuff out the window? No. Do you play stupid music? Nope. Let's buy a car. <gasps> Let's do it. All right. Come hey. on. Come on. Oh! Oh, 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 so, this is John Douglas and Tony Martin from Temple University. Guys, this is Kenny Hayes. Kenny, it's nice to meet you. Uh -huh. How you doing? Hey, guys. Call me Silk. Wow. Big hands. <laughs> um... This is Eugene, Antonio, and Michael. I got so, it. Hey, Silk, so we're looking forward to having you on our team next year. Come on, guys. Let's give these guys a chance to talk. Actually, Coach, why don't the guys hang out? Play a little three-on-three? -three? Oh, I'm on their team. Good. You might learn something. next time, baby. I love this car. Me too. It goes so great with my hair. <laughs> what are you doing? Putting Mimi on the dashboard. Aloha, Mimi. <laughs> She's for good luck. I had one in my last car. The one that got stolen? Yeah. <laughs> well, this one will be good luck. <laughs> it doesn't even have a neck. Oh, I like her. <laughs> Let's check out the sound system. Yeah. Oh, I have a great new tape I've been dying to hear. Ooh, gotta be. Bienvenidos. That means welcome. Me llamo Juanita. My name is Juanita. Christy, what are we listening to? Well, I'm practicing my Spanish. It's fun. Let's all do it, amigas. <laughs> I'm throwing myself from the car. Yeah, I'm not doing that, and you're not either. Not in my car. Uh, 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 it's our car, remember? Right. Our car. <laughs> okay, let's hablo espanol. <laughs> it's habla. Do it again. guys. So, uh, Silk, how was the game with the Temple guys? <laughs> well, they stole the ball off me every time I had it, blocked almost all of my shots, and when I was on D, blew right by me. <laughs> well, other than that, oh, it went great. <laughs> they took us to school, Coach. Man, they hit all their shots. I mean, inside, outside, upside down, man, they hit them all. <laughs> so they answer all your questions about the school? Yeah, most of them. But I had no idea how tough it's going to be out there. Uh, two practices a day, the team's traveling schedule. And if I don't keep up a B average, I lose my scholarship. Temple's tough. That's why they're a top-notch school. This is a great opportunity, Silk. You can handle it. Uh, I sure hope so, Coach. Hey, there he is.
Temple's newest breakout sensation. Yeah, I hear that. After looking at all this stuff about Temple, I'm so nervous, I'm just breaking out. Ooh, you should oxy five that bad boy. <laughs> Hey, yo, Silk, everybody's got to be a little nervous about starting college, man. Yeah, and Tony's right, man. You'll do fine. Oh, damn. Hey, I got a roll. Chrissy's taking me out tonight in a new car. Well, that's funny, because Julie's taking me out tonight in her new car. Oh, looks like we're double dating. Again. <laughs> you know, man, I, I like you, dude, but you're starting to get in the way of my alone time with Julie. Right. <laughs> I'll see you, guys. Hi, oh, I mean, what a nice campus. Mm. All right, now where's the picture of the girls' swim team? Oh, Eugene, <laughs> I'm not going to have time for any of that. I'll be working from morning till night, and still that may not be enough. Relax. Hey, you can do this. What if I can't? What if I fail? Well, <laughs> that would be embarrassing. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to Profiles in Failure. Today we are coming to you live from Deering High School, where basketball player Kenny Silk Hayes dreamed of a brighter future. Boy, was he wrong. Temple was just too much for the kid. He would have been better off going to a smaller school, for crying out loud. Maybe a clown college. <laughs> the thing that's so funny is someone had to say, hey, let's give him a scholarship. And someone else had to say, yeah, good idea. I don't know what everyone's talking about. I think Lenny Hayes did great in college. No, we're talking about Kenny Hayes. Oh, Kenny Hayes. <laughs> no comment. Como se dice, big loser? Kenny Hayes. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> so, hello. Let's roll. Huh? What? I said, let's roll. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 you go ahead. Uh, I just want to look through these school brochures a little more. <laughs> All right. Hey, but save those pictures of the swim team. <laughs> See ya. I can't believe we ran out of gas. Well, which one of you is supposed to fill it up? She, she was. was. Hey, you know what? It's Thursday. It's my day to run out of gas. Wait, that didn't come out right. No. I have Thursdays. We traded, remember? You have Tuesdays and Wednesday mornings, and we rock, paper, scissors for Saturdays. Yeah, but we can't rock, paper, scissors because you have all the rocks in your head. Oh, well, I guess your Spanish tape didn't teach you how to fill up a car. Uh, oh, you are so... So blonde. Uh, uh, is there a mute button for the two of you? You know what? I'm out of here. Yeah, me too. Why don't you just tell me which way you're walking and I'll walk the other way. Fine, fine. Michael Kuba. So, what else do you guys want to do? This fighting has been going on for days. This car's making it miserable. It's making us all miserable. <sighs> no, we gotta do something before this gets any worse. Are you kidding? Things can't get any worse. That's it. Okay, not a bad practice. Silk, I expect a little more from Temple's next All-American. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about that, Coach. I've changed my mind. I'm, I'm not going to Temple. Why not? Did you get into a better school? Well, not exactly. I decided to go to Atlantic College instead. Atlantic? Atlantic sucks! <laughs> Hey, both my father and grandfather went there. Oh, well, I'm sure it was much better then. <laughs> Yo, Silk, Atlantic's cool and all, but Temple is Temple, man. That's the big time. Yeah, and I thought Temple was exactly the kind of place you were looking for. Yeah, I thought so, too. Uh, but I was talking to my dad, and we agreed that Atlantic's better for me. You're sure passing up something great here. Maybe I can get together with you and your dad, and we can talk it over. 
No, coach, that's okay. Uh, my dad's pretty much made up his mind, and I have too. But I gotta go. A little more. A little more. Good. <laughs> you sure coach never comes back here? Yeah. Are you sure hiding the car here is a good idea? Hey, we want to save the girl's friendship, right? We'll give it back once they chill. Okay, so the plan is you're going to tell Julie you borrowed the car and someone stole it. Right, and when they go to call the police, we just tell them we already did. Uh, <laughs> perfect plan, man. No one will ever know it's here. Can't go wrong. <laughs> I can't believe our car was stolen. I'm so angry I'm gonna do something. As soon as I figure out what to do, I'm gonna do it. Angrily! Oh, since you had it last night, I'm surprised there was enough gas in it for the thief to get away. <gasps> Look, hey, you guys, I'm sure the car will turn up. The police are looking for it. Why? It's like the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think it was stolen. I think it's hiding. <laughs> but I love that car. Yeah. Well, you gotta admit it was causing you guys some major stress. Shit, your friendship is more important than a car. You're right. I'm sorry. Look, if we do get the car back, I promise to be a better partner. Me too. And if you want to put a hula girl on the dashboard, that's fine with me. Oh. You know what? In fact... You can have a whole luau. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys want to hear something weird? Ugh, no more gross noises. All the study hall still thinks that that was me. Look, I just ran into Silk's dad. And get this, he wants Silk to go to Temple. What? He knows nothing about Atlantic. Well, that's weird. Why would Silk lie to us? I found the car. <gasps> You're kidding, where? Well, I went over to Antonio's to drop off my notebook and it was sitting behind Coach's garage. So it's not stolen? You just forgot where you parked it? I didn't forget where I parked it. I figured you parked it there, had another blonde attack and forgot about it. Oh, I'll show you a blonde attack. <laughs> oh, hey, whoa. Remember, we're being nice now. Besides, there's no time to argue. That new Brad Pitt movie starts in 15. He shows his butt. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for me. Hey, man. Oh, hey, guys. Look, look, my dad told me he talked to you. What's up with that, man? Why'd you lie to us? Man, you saw those Temple guys school me on the court. Silk, those are Division One players. They're supposed to be good. Yeah, and I'm supposed to be one of them next year. I don't think I can cut it. I'm better off going to a small school where I can stand out. You're selling yourself short, man. Maybe, maybe not. But I made up my mind. Guys, the car is gone. Look, I went to check on it just like you asked me to, and it wasn't there. <gasps> don't hit! <laughs> you mean the car really has been stolen? Oh, man, now we do have to call the police. Come on, man, let's go. Wow, no hits. <laughs> hey, so, uh, can we talk for a minute? Sure, goes. What's up? Michael told me how you're feeling about Temple. Oh, my. Look, Silk, if Atlantic is your dream school, then I'm behind you. But if you're going there because you're afraid you can't cut out that temple, you're taking the easy way out. Yeah, but those guys were so good. How can I keep up? Those guys have been in college three years. You weren't this good when you started high school. <laughs> you got to believe you're going to improve in college the same way you improved here. But what if I fail? What, what if it's too much? Silk, if it doesn't work out, you can always go to a different school. But if you never try... You'll never know if you could have made it. And that's failing, too. If Temple's willing to take a chance on you, you should, too. We want some answers. 
and we want them now. Uh-huh. Even Christy's not flaky enough to forget she parked the car behind Coach's place. Yeah. Hey! Look, all right, all right. We hid your car because you're driving everybody nuts. Yeah, we want you to be friends again, like before you had the car. Wait, wait. You guys took the car from behind Coach's? Well, yeah, Christy found it. But well, we were on our way to go see Brad Pitt's new movie until we ran into Coach. He needed their car, something about a trash can. I don't know, I stopped listening. <laughs> so Coach is in your car right now? Oh. Yeah, why? Well, because when we saw that it was gone, we reported it stolen. <laughs> Pull over and put your hands in the air. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, man. I'm Mitch. Mitch Wilson. I'm from the freshman team. Uh, what's up, Mitch? I'm Sip. <laughs> yeah, I know who you are. Everyone knows you. You uh, feel like shooting around? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Are you going up for varsity next year? I don't know. I'm not sure I've got the game for it. Oh, I've seen you play. You've got the game. Nah, I don't think I can make it. Maybe I'll just play pickup league. Hey, if that's what you want to do, that's cool. But don't give up on varsity because you're afraid. I don't know. You know, I see you guys out there playing, and you're all so much better than me. <laughs> hey, we, we've been at it for four years. You get better with practice. You know, a really great coach once told me that if you don't try, You'll never know how good you could have been. Think about it. I will. Thanks. Hey, I heard Temple offered you a free ride. Yeah, they did. You going? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> hey, next year I'm going to Temple. Wow, man, that is so cool. And when I come back to visit, I expect to see you playing varsity. <laughs> All, right? All right, man. All right, good luck, man. Thanks, man. Uh, that's what I like to hear. Nothing but net. Gonna be in the movies? Nope, we got jobs at the Cineplex. <laughs> Get it? We're in the movies? I told you they wouldn't get it. Anyways, it's our work study assignment for business class. Oh, right. hey, that's cool. Cool, cool job. Uh, can you guys get us in for free? No. Then bye bye. <laughs> Forget Silk. Christy, it's gonna be so great working with you. Yeah, we'll get to spend even more time together. Hey, Mary Beth. What? What? I, I wasn't winking at you. I don't even know how to wink. No, no, I can only blink. See? See? No, no winking. Just blinking. Okay, I'm leaving. You stay. Don't follow. I'm not. Good morning, Blinky. Don't start with me. I had the worst nightmare of my life. 
I dreamt I love Eugene. So, we all love Eugene. In our own way. <laughs> not like this. I kissed him. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna laugh. <laughs> yes, we are. Julie. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing kissing Eugene? I don't know. Why are you wearing that hideous outfit? Some things just don't make sense. <laughs> Listen, sister, I didn't laugh before, but now... <laughs> hey, Coach, do you ever have the same dream over and over? Yeah. I dream I have this job where there are no kids. Coach, do you... Wait. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Do you think dreams mean anything? Well, how the heck should I know? I'm a basketball coach. <laughs> nice outfit, Red. Oh, you like it, Coach? See? Coach likes it. Okay. <laughs> Here's your change. Oh, and don't forget some napkins. You are so going to be crying when that dog dies. <laughs> well, thanks for telling us the ending. Like, I gave it away. The movie's called Dead Dog. Nice boat time, buddy. <laughs> hey, well, what are we going to do now that the movie's started? Let's do what we usually do. Ooh, I like that idea. Ooh. Oh, Kevin's coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, how are those Skittles moving? Hey, Kevin, everything's cool. <laughs> cool, cool. Hey, I want you both to know you're doing a great job, and keep it up, okay? Oh, thanks. We're having a great time. Ooh. Also, you might want to know that I'm looking for a new assistant manager, and you're both up for the job. Thanks, Kevin. That's cool, man. <laughs> great. I'll let you know. <laughs> manager that would be great more money more responsibility definitely better grade on our work study project yeah and i'd get to lose this bow tie <laughs> yeah but how are we gonna do this there's only two of us in one job we're gonna be competing against each other i want to be on your team i know i'll quit chrissy you can't you you need the grade i mean everything will be fine we'll be working together you know that's what counts you're right we'll make it fun yeah let's have fun Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It's my idea to promote Return to Planet X. See, it's a spaceship made out of candy boxes, so people will think candy and buy stuff. Smart, huh? Yeah, Kevin's gonna love that. I hope so. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> very nice display. Is this yours, Antonio? It sure is. Wow. Hey, if this is just the tip of the iceberg, look out, Titanic! Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Christy, you said you had something you wanted to show me? Just a little idea I wanted to run by you. Presenting Midnight Movie Madness. You see, showing cult movie classics at midnight is a big money maker. The box office will increase by 20%, and candy sales will go off the chart. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow! <laughs> Did you notice my spaceship has little people inside? I made them out of raisinets. Neat. <laughs> So, what movie are we going to see at midnight? Okay, now stay with me on this one. My research shows that our target audience is teenagers, and teenagers love... Screech! <laughs> Zoinks! I love that knucklehead! <laughs> Kelly, Zach! <laughs> Starring in Saved by the Bell, Wedding in Las Vegas. It's going to be a cult classic, and it's going to start here. I love this idea, and I love my new assistant manager, Christy Ford. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. Well, sport, looks like you got a new boss. Huh? <laughs> Congratulations, Christy. I'm really happy for you. Oh, thanks, Antonio. Oh. what's going on with my unconscious is to... How are you going to do it if you can't even say it? Well, I can say it. I'm going to ask out Eugene. Okay. Here I go. All right. All right. Okay. You're not moving. Okay. Come on. Come on. 
Eugene? I'm not Eugene. I'm Cucumber Man from the planet Crouton. If okay, I can never sleep again. Four to your left. Oh, and you better hurry. The preview started. You're ten minutes late. Sorry, I'll strike a time. Yeah, well, don't let it happen again. Christy, it's no big deal. It is a big deal. We were both late yesterday and you didn't care. Well, now it's my job to care. I can't give you special treatment because you're my boyfriend. Hey, 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 kid! This ticket's for yesterday. I told you we should have gone to the guy. <gasps> I don't want other employees to think that I'm playing favorites. Kristen, you're right. All right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been late. Okay. I guess I was a little too upset myself. It's okay. Antonio, I'm serious. I'm trying to do a good job, and you're not making it any easier. Hey, Mary Beth. Heard you've been dreaming about me. <laughs> Look, you know, why don't we just go out? I guess there's no fighting in anymore. Okay, let's do it. All right. Mary Beth. Mary Beth. Mary Beth. What? 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 <laughs> Oh, my gosh. I was dreaming about Eugene. Oh, jeez. Oh. I don't want to know. Oh. I don't let myself sleep at night because I keep having these dreams. Now I'm having them during oh, the day. And it's... Oh. Why don't you just ask him out already? You're right. Here goes. She's never going to do it. Oh. She did it. Okay, here's all the stuff you wanted. Uh, Kelly Krispies, Screechy Poofs, and Slater Doodles. Oh, good. Isn't it exciting how I got Screech to come to the show? Yeah. I'm taking a break now. No, no, wait a second. You're not done here. And I'll decide when it's the right time to take a break. I'm in charge, remember? You won't let me forget. Antonio, I don't have time for this. I need you to take out the trash and mop up Theater 4. Anything else, Assistant Manager Ford? Yeah. Lose the attitude. Sheila, do we really have to do this? It's almost night. Come on, Mike. It's going to be fun. Don't you want to meet Screech? Who? I can't wait. Saved by the Bell is my favorite all-time show. <laughs> I'm a bell trivia animal. Go ahead. Ask me anything. What's wrong with you? Here. In the flash, thanks for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure, Screech. Actually, uh, Screech was a role I played on TV. You can call me Dustin. Oh, I'm sorry. I just hear that voice and I automatically think Screech. <laughs> uh, well, you see, when I make a public appearance, I use the Screech voice because my fans demand it. But it's not my real voice. This is my real voice! <laughs> Great. Well, why don't we start our meet and greet before the movie? Oh, yeah. Dustin, I'm so glad to meet you. Can I ask you a question? Fire away! What's Mr. Belding really like? Um, well, he really likes when I do this. Hey, hey, hey! Isn't he funny? Riot. Antonio, I need those souvenir t-shirts right away. Oh, man, I've been so busy lately, I totally forgot. What? I, I promised we'd give away t-shirts. How could you make such a stupid mistake? Maybe I'm just not as perfect as you are. Christy, you're getting way carried away with this job. Well, maybe you have a problem with your girlfriend being your boss. No, just a problem with my girlfriend being so bossy. And so I don't make any more stupid mistakes, I quit. <gasps> don't you dare leave! <gasps> Antonio just quit on you. Yeah, the whole night would have been a disaster if Screech hadn't helped out. Would you stop calling him Screech? The man has a name. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Antonio knew how important last night was to me. I know I've been a little tough on him, but I was just trying to do my job. So maybe you should go talk to him. No way. I wouldn't talk to him if he was the last guy on Earth. Yes, you would. 
Well, maybe, but then I'd kick them. Ooh. Good morning, ladies. Hey, Dusty, what are you doing back here? I came back for my picture. Hey, buddy, I missed you. <laughs> oh, it's all yours. And thanks again for helping me out. Of course, I wouldn't have needed your help if my boyfriend weren't such a weenie. Wow. You two still haven't kissed and made up? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Communication is key to a successful relationship. Oh, thank you. We'll build on that. You know, I find you very engaging. Okay. Yeah, noted. Um, now what do we do about Christian Antonio? Nothing, because I hate him. She's miserable. We've got to do something to get them back together. Wait. My brain has something in the inbox. I'm leaving. I'll meet you in college. You're a fiery one, you Midwestern minx. Now, remember what happened when Zach and Kelly broke up on Saved by the Bell? Uh, refresh my memory. I made Zach so jealous he came crawling back to Kelly. What do you think of that, my little Dutch treat? <laughs> I have to admit, I actually had a nice time on our date tonight. Well, you were out with the Eugene man, the date meister. You let the Eugenie out of the box. You were doing so well. Sorry. No, I had a really nice time, too. <laughs> you know, it, it's kind of weird, but I've been having dreams about this date. Really? <laughs> what happens? Well, we, we have a date. And then we kiss. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Well, how did I do? Well, it's kind of hard to tell in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we test it? Okay. <laughs> that, that was uh, uh, weird. Yes, yes, totally. <laughs> what were we thinking? Uh, you know, maybe we're just better off being friends. Yeah, good idea. Come on, pal. I'll drive you out. So can I tell people I kissed you? No. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Antonio, quit doing the macho thing. I mean, you're going to let Christy go because you have to take a few orders from her? Yeah, what's the big deal? She may be your boss, but she's still your girlfriend. Yeah, man, you should talk to her. She should talk to me. I mean, no boss should treat me the way she did. Ugh, he's here. Let's go. Uh, you can't walk away every time you see Antonio. You guys gotta talk this through. You're right. I'll let him walk away. He's so good at it. Ugh. Okay. Huh, is this seat taken? Hey, Dusty, what a surprise to town. We meet again. Oi. Hey, why the long face? Is the movie business bad, or am I just projecting? Ah. Hey, Antonio, check it out. It looks like Christy and Dustin are getting awfully friendly. Who cares? You know, you look much better with a smile on your face. Oh, thanks. I've had a hard week. Well... Oh. I've got just the thing for all that tension. You look like you could use a special screech neck masagi. Ooh, I love that. Oh, oh. Hey, Dusty, what are you doing? I don't know, man. Looks like they're having a pretty good time. She is not interested in it. Oh, a big star, popular guy. You saw all those girls chasing after him last night. He's got something going on. Uh huh. Wow, you really are tense. I'd say whatever's on your mind got stuck in your neck. <laughs> I'm just so upset with this whole thing with Antonio. <sighs> Me too. I just hate to see two great people so unhappy. <laughs> I need a hug. Oh, you are so sweet to care. Yes, well, you are. You know, I know. <laughs> oh. Is he hugging her? Nope. She's hugging him. Oh, that's it. 
Hey, Mr. Hollywood, you want to stop hugging my girl? Oh, so now I'm your girl? Oh, so now she's your girl? But when I'm your boss, I'm not your girl? But when she's your boss, she's not your girl? Is that how it works? Is that how it works? Enough! It's not! Dusty, can I talk to Antonio alone? Well, not with me here, you can't. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Christy, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. I was taking advantage of you being my boss and not respecting that you had a job to do. Yeah, and I became all bossy and snippy. You made a few little mistakes and I jumped all over you. Hey, it's your job to make sure things run smoothly. Yeah, but I shouldn't have called you stupid. All right, from now on, we'll treat each other better, you know? With more respect. And just talk about what's bothering us. You mean you want to keep working with me? Yeah, that'd be good. But what I really want... Is my girlfriend medic. She never left. Oh. Well, it looks like my work here is done. Dustin, thanks for helping out our friends. You really are a good guy. Oh, quit it! <laughs> yeah, come on, let us buy a burger. Okay, in that case, I'll have a double cheese, a large fry, and one of these to go. <laughs> Before you pick a new leader, we're going to pick him apart. Monica Lewinsky. It's Saturday Night Live's Presidential Bash 2000. Now get ready to be body slammed. A new Sunday primetime special. It's so big, only one word can describe it. Strategery. I'm voting for him. Saturday Night Live's all-new Presidential Bash 2000. Next Sunday on NBC. <laughs>